I am Douglas So. I'm from Hong Kong. I am the founder and director of F11 Photo Museum and F22 Photo Space. I grew up in Happy Valley and also I like uh, heritage buildings. Uh, it just happens that uh, back in 2012 I had the opportunity to acquire this building and then I converted it into uh, F11 Photographic Museum. I collect Leica cameras uh, and I've been doing that for over 20 years. I started collecting buying an M3 on eBay after using an M6. That is the start of the journey and I'll never look back. Collecting um, for me is much more than just buying because collecting means that uh, you get to know what you are buying and then you also need to have a strategy as to what you collect. You cannot collect everything. For me, uh, vintage cameras, they all, always offer a sense of time and also give you a sense as to what this camera, how it interacts uh, with history and also interact with a uh, photographer or the former owner. Uh, it's very important that you get a good understanding through reading and then uh, that will take you to the next step, which is you will know how to appreciate what is in front of you. For example, this one that uh, I have in front of me, it was a camera which was previously owned by the Magnum photographer Ian Barry. It is an M3 camera uh, made uh, almost the very, very last year, 1967. And it's also one of the last 10 black paint M3 cameras ever produced. The Lights Photography Auction is, I would say, the largest and most international camera shop in the world. You will be able to receive a catalogue and in there with hundreds of items, Leica cameras and other brands as well. This auction was organised by Leica cameras, actually gives a lot of credibility and confidence to the bidders. I was very lucky to have acquired uh, the MP camera formerly owned by Magnum photographer Stuart Franklin. That was the first MP camera uh, delivered to Stuart uh, about 20 years ago. And this also uh, bears the marks of uh, uh, Stuart uh, traveling very frequently and also going to different parts of the world capturing uh, very important images. I now use an M10 camera and also use a monochrome. If you look at Leica M cameras, uh, you would appreciate their design, their innovation. In particular, they are very, very user friendly. So once you get into the system, once you enjoy using the experience of M, uh, you will get hooked very easily. If I am only allowed to keep one, uh, it's likely going to be a black paint Leica camera, but I haven't decided which one.